number two of the Founders Stout Ladder. And we got what, Johnny? Oh, Johnny's got some Google searching going on. <laughs> We've got Founders Imperial in, Stout. That's right. 90 IBUs, 10.5% alcohol by volume. In this one, they use 10 different kinds of malts to brew this big ass behemoth of a stout. We've had it out. It feels like the proper temperature, so we're going to take a little tour up to Grand Rapids, Michigan, yet again. See what we got. Are you ready to pop this one open? Oh, am I going to do this one? Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's see if it works. So, we were saying. Oh. Strike one. Strike oh, two. We were saying. The dog's making me nervous. Strike three. You're out. Hey, fourth time Woo! charm. Woo -hoo! The bottle popper doesn't like you. No. Mm, how Beer does it smell? Does. Beer likes me. There we go. Now the Founders Crown for the collection. Oh, look at that oil. Wow. Man, breakfast out was dark, but this is like this is like old engine oil pouring out of this. What oh was my that? God. What was the one that we had? The engine. What was that? Called? Old engine oil. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. No, um, old viscosity. Old viscosity. Yeah, this is darker than yeah. old viscosity. Damn. Wow. There's pretty much no head on that, as you guys can probably see. There's some. Beer going down the side of Johnny's glass, which looks like tar. Inside. It's inside. It looks like it's dripping molasses. outside. Wow. A little bit faster than molasses. Wow, wait. There is massive alcohol legs on the inside of this glass. There, even at the bottom, there is absolutely no light passing through, no. even in the peak of the stem here. Nope. This is a really thick beer. Wow. Very thick. When you swirl it on the glass, it's coating it like you're like you're swirling like maple syrup or something, but. Let's get a nose on this one. You find out the nose. Big chocolate. Dark fruits, a lot of dark fruits in the background. Sort of that cherry, raisin, and bourbon sort of soaked raisin smell, kind of. Johnny's got his flashlight on it, and you can see there ain't no light passing through. And that LED is pretty bright. Right up against the glass. Wow. This is a thick beer. We were looking for some more body on the last one, and... And damn, we're coming on oh, yeah. this one. It's like somebody uh, wow melted caramel, like a Rolo inside a Rolo. You took the chocolate off the outside and just let it heat it up, let it go down the outside. When you swirl it, you can see like it turns the color of the glass amber until the beer flows into the glass. This is way thicker than the bells oh, yeah. that we had. So the expedition. Expedition, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, a lot. Man, a lot of chocolate smell on this one too, like dark mm -hmm. chocolate. Not Nibs, chocolate. Oh, he's going to drink. I guess that means me too. Wow. That coats your mouth. Ain't no doubt about it. Wow. Very much a upfront coffee taste. Uh, hints of velvety chocolate on the back end. <clears throat> um, thicker than breakfast out. Definitely uh, not as thick as hmm, some other ones, the bourbon barrel aged ones, but mm -hmm. but definitely a very good overall rich beer uh, flavor all the way through, warming as it goes down. Really nice, just to relax. Nice imperial stout, definitely. To me, it's got a lot of char taste in it, also from like the really dark malts. Just wait to char on the next one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's got, I mean, but. It's, you can tell they used a lot of really dark roasted malt in this. And surprisingly, for 10.5%, there's not really any alcohol taste. You can feel it going down. It's way more warming than the breakfast out. There's yeah. breakfast out. Come on, guy. That's session beer level, right? No, this is still session beer 10.5. 10.5, yeah, since, this is the, since we're going to be having more than one of this drink anyway. But, <clears throat> man, top-notch beer. This is a sipper right here, guys. I'm not, I'm not down for pounding this. I'm going to enjoy this as it warms up, but... There's dark fruits in there, and kind of a burnt, burnt toffee sort of flavor aftertaste with coffee. That, that's, I mean, like you almost put brown sugar in your coffee, kind of. It, it's almost, really, it's almost like drinking, not cold coffee, but warm coffee. I mean, it's, it's like you drinking a heated up cup of coffee. It's Just a, a viscous cup of <laughs> heated up coffee. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like. You know, you go to Starbucks and order their really, you know, Pike's Place roast or something like that. Really strong coffee. It's kind of, it's like that. It's like that flavor. Mm -hmm. and, and I like that. 
And just like the other Founders beers, IBUs, date, and alcohol by volume right on the front of the bottle. There's no guesswork, guys. Uh, rate beer 100? Yes. <laughs> Johnny's got rate beer down. Let me guess. Uh, beer ever get 100? No. 97. How can you give Breakfast Out 100 and give this a 97? I I think this is better than Breakfast Out to oh, I me. I too. This is, this is Breakfast Out cubed. That's why it's the middle run. Mm-hmm. So, um, hmm. exactly. I'm gonna give this one an A. I'm gonna give it a higher A. I'm gonna get like the like 94 range, almost to that A plus. I think if this aged, if this aged, you, it's gonna be towards that A plus. And this has a, you can taste this. I don't know about what you think, but I think like like the bells we had, you can taste. There's a lot of potential for oh, celery yeah. Oh, yeah. with this beer. Yeah. I mean, this is a 2012 version, so it's as fresh as you can get right now. There it is. Mm-hmm. Bottle 12-7-2012. So we're just over a month old. There's no confusion in that. Anybody can read that, if you can read at least. Yeah. But depends how many And I have you're a bad. third grade education. You'd be smart. Educated. And then public schools. Yeah, that's right. So what, what, what did we grade it tonight, John? You, you give it. Well, considering I'm really confused with your numbering and lettering system of a 90 by 4 with an A plus, close to an A plus, um... I'm going to give it an A, uh, right down, straight down the middle of the A road, and mm-hmm. it's definitely better than the Breakfast Out. Um, mm-hmm. I know it's coming next, <laughs> but this is like number four for me. Yeah, we've I've been... had, no, I've had four of these. This is like my oh, fourth okay. one. <laughs> so I, I've really enjoyed this one. Um, you know, I got it as like, I bought it, and then I got it as a birthday present. So, hey, can't go wrong there. Because the wife calls the beer geek when it's time to shop for Johnny. Yeah, she just, stunt drinker just doesn't know what to buy. <laughs> so, but yeah, I would definitely say... Oh, there goes the bottle popper. Oops. I was trying to clear the shot off. Is this going to be like Christmas in August? No, I haven't broken any glass yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I think that was a three-glass night for me, wasn't it? Oh, I don't remember. I, I, I fucked some glasses up that night. <laughs> knocking crap over so mm-hmm. um, but yeah definitely an A A we're all around A's mm-hmm. holes and um, so you know we're just gonna drink this slowly we're not gonna bore you and just sit here and chat you know about our farts that well, doesn't mean color, we don't that doesn't mean we don't like you guys the color of our boogers or whatever you know we're just gonna sit back relax drink this let it warm up a little bit more because these beers tend to have that flavor change a little bit as time goes on um so as we usually say oh no no not yet not till we finish the ladder right but we'll be back we'll let we're going to drink this one down and we're going to be back with our big buddy the top of the ladder tonight kbs back in a flash i think we should start over (laughs) back in a flash